to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are talking beauty baby. Today I'm going to be showing you my favorite beauty products of October. I've seen a lot of YouTubers do this where they talk about their favorite products every month and I am obsessed with watching them because I'm like, yes, show me everything that you love because I need to know every detail of your life. And then when I find out all their favorites, I'm like, I'm going to go buy that because I need that. I'm gonna try it and see if it's my favorite. I had a bunch of stuff to share with you guys that are my favorites, but I narrowed it down to the top 10 favorites so that we're not here for eight hours. And with that, let's get started with the video. But before we do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the little notification bell so that you're never missing a single tiny thing from my channel. But seriously, just hit subscribe. It's not hard. It's right there. You know, the little red box that says subscribe. Yeah. Oh, I don't know where to start. Okay, let's go in order of like face makeup maybe. The first thing on my list, I use this literally every day right before I do my makeup. It's the Bosha Black Hydration Gel. I really like this because I have really oily combination skin. So I always try to go for gels because it doesn't make my skin as oily. And what's really cool about this is you squeeze the top and then the gel is black. But then when you rub it in, it's just clear. What I like most about this is when I put it on, I feel like my face is just like tightened and not like, I can't breathe, ugh, tight, but it just feels fresh and there's kind of like a cooling feeling when you put it on because it's a gel and not a lotion. So I got mine from Sephora. I think it was like $35, $40. Um, I'll be sure to link everything that we talk about in the description box below so that you guys can find it yourself if you're interested in buying any of this stuff um, along with the prices. So yeah, I think it was like 35 to $40. It's 30 milliliters of product and you only need like one little squish squish for your whole face and that's and it's good. So I think this will be pretty long lasting. Um, but yeah, this is my favorite hydration gel that I'm using right now. Okay, so the next thing is the Fenty Beauty Foundation. So when I first got this, I got color matched at Sephora and I loved it at first because when she just put a little bit on my skin, it completely matched my skin color. It almost looked like there was nothing on my face because of how well this matches. And when I put it on, I was applying it with a brush. At first, I was like, yeah, it's good coverage. It matches. It's super lightweight. It feels like you're wearing nothing. I could see a lot of texture in my face and I didn't like that and it was really blotchy and not staying on well even with my regular makeup routine it still didn't seem like it was long lasting long wear at all then I decided to give it a try again but this time I started applying it with a beauty blender beauty sponge and I have completely changed my mind I think with applying it with the sponge it completely changes it that's what I'm wearing on my face now and it stays on all day now there, you can't see a lot of texture it doesn't like rub off easily like i said it completely matches my color and it's super lightweight so i love that about it i am the color 240. so if you're interested in getting your own fenty beauty foundation they are 34 dollars at sephora i think for 34 dollars this is actually a really good price because it is high-end makeup um the packaging is really nice i think 34 dollars is a pretty fair price for this foundation okay sorry for all the background but Ralphie will not stop playing with toys and like his cone he still has his cone on from getting fixed and it's like choking the crap out of him but he's still trying to play okay next up is probably my favorite thing in my makeup kit right now it is the Laura Mercier translucent powder I found out about this from watching makeup videos and I will never go back and I don't know what I was doing before I was not using this like I said I have really oily to combination skin and this just like sucks it all out of me <laughs> like it sucks the excess oil off my face and so on top of using a matte foundation and like a matte setting spray girl I'm not gay I get super shiny like on my t-zone and that's not happening now I got the uh, tiny traveler size of this to just try it and I regret it because it's basically gone now and I've only had it for like a month so I'm gonna go back when I get paid and get the big one maybe a few of them because I'm obsessed and use it excessively like a lot a lot so I got mine at Sephora you can get it at Sephora for $38 um, which again I think is a really good deal I wouldn't tell you guys to get this if I didn't think it was worth the money because I'm a cheapo and if I spend a lot of money on something that's not worth it I'm pissed I'm being real cheap this is worth the bucks. Okay, so the next thing I'm sure all of you guys know about, this is probably in a lot of people's beauty favorites, but I have not put this palette down since the day I've got it. I got this on Jaclyn's second launch, so it's been a while. It's been a while! And 
and I still use it every single day. I wish there was a mirror here. Besides that, it's like absolute perfection. Like, look at how beautiful. You already know, you've already seen it 800 million times on the internet. I just love it. I'm not gonna do swatches because there's a million of those on the internet too. Uh, but it is in my beauty favorites. Like, I haven't put it down, girl. I just use it every single day. Even if I'm like in a hurry and just need a quick little hurry up, I'm gonna be late for work makeup. Like, I'll just use these colors up in this corner just to have something and not be so tired looking. Just like brighten up my eyes, I'll use a little bit of these. You can get your own Jaclyn Hill palette off of Morphe. It's the Morphe Jaclyn Hill collaboration. So it's on Morphe's website and it is $38, which I think is a more than fair price for this. This palette is huge. It has 35 colors in it. Very, very worth it. This is the KKW Beauty Powder Contour Kit. Alon got me the sticks, the cream contour sticks, and I liked that, except there was a very minimal product, so that was really um, unfortunate. And I'm just more of a powder kind of girl anyway, so like I liked it, and, it, and I have a video so if you haven't seen that video, go check it out on my review on the KKW Cream Sticks. Go check that out. I'll link it. But this is huge. The palette is huge. What I actually do now is I mix these the two contours. It's a nice mix. That is what I'm wearing today. The highlighters are super pigmented. I don't know if you can see that. Holy guacamole. This contour kit is $52, but like I said, it's huge and you get a brush with it. I think if it didn't have the brush, maybe it wouldn't be worth the money. I think it's worth it. Thanks, Kimmy. Okay, let's just stick with the Kardashian family. Kardashian? Let's just stick with the Kardashian. My next beauty favorite is the Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade 20. This is from her recent birthday edition. I got the entire birthday package. I know. I know. I have a problem. It is so gorgy. I will do a little. And her lipsticks do smell like actual cupcakes. So. But it's this nice, like, a nice maroon color. Um, and it's super awesome for fall. I really like it. It goes on very soft and I don't feel like it dries out your lips at all, um, stays on all day. Like I could probably put it on in the morning and go all day without reapplying. Yeah, so this shade is just like to die for, especially with fall coming around and stuff. This is probably gonna be on my lips a whole lot, honey. This plus a lip liner is $30. I really love it. This is like my favorite color from her right now, so. Okay, last Kardashian Jenner thing in my favorites and then I'll be done, I promise. Um, and this actually is not anything new. This was from her summer vacation collection and this is in the shade Fiji. Holy crap, I just wanna show you guys how holy crap pigmented and like what? Like hi, I can see you from 800 miles away with this highlighter on and like a little bit goes a long way. Holy crap, I can't stop staring at it in the viewfinder. Ooh. I just really love this shade. It's like super pretty on my skin tone. There's other colors that she has and this is my favorite out of all of them. So these little pots are $14 a piece, which I think is more than fair for how much product and how long it's gonna last you. All right, the next thing is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Um, I got this less than a month ago and I've been using it. It's just like, it looks exactly like a uh, mascara and you just put it on your eyebrows after you draw them in or whatever, after you finish your eyebrows. Put this on your eyebrows and your eyebrows will not move, honey. They are gonna stay in one spot. There's not much to say about it because it's just a clear brow gel, but this little baby is like heaven because your eyebrows will not go anywhere. So this little bad boy, I got it from Sephora and it was $22. And it's just kind of become a staple in my makeup routine. My eyebrows just feel naked without this now. Oh, okay, next thing I'm so excited to share this with you guys. You guys probably already know because I'm late on the makeup game, but I do not know what I would do without this. This is the Kat Von D Locket Blotting Powder in the shade Medium. And then you open it up and you have a little mirror and then it comes with the little um, patty thing. And like I said, I have really oily um, skin. So I just pop this in my purse and whenever I'm getting oily, especially on my nose, my T-zone area, I just boop, 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 problem solved. 
So this has just been like a lifesaver. If I'm at work and I'm getting oily or if I'm out running errands or whatever and I start getting oily. Because like once you start getting oily, you just are like this greasy hot mess and your makeup isn't looking as bomb anymore. I've tried like blotting papers and stuff and I like blotting papers, but sometimes they don't do the trick. So I got this at Sephora too. Surprise, surprise. It is $29 for the full thing. And then if you do run out, you can get um, little refill cartridge -y thingies and they're only $19. So I think that's worth it. Um, this is perfect small size to just throw in your purse, be on with your day, and not have to worry about being oily. And my last beauty favorite of the month isn't um, necessarily a makeup product, but it is these Bliss Ingrown Eliminating Pads. So they're just these tiny little pads that are for ingrown hairs. So if you guys get like, when you shave your legs, you get ingrown hairs. Um, rub these over the ingrown hairs and literally this stuff is magic. I have never known what to do about ingrown hairs. I'm just like, oh, so I'll just leave it and let it be ugly. Then I found this and put them over my ingrown hairs. I'm not kidding you, after like three or four applications of these things, my ingrown hairs were gone. After showering and after you shave, use these uh, and then just kind of moisturize wherever you put it and yeah so these are like super awesome they're really inexpensive I got them on Amazon for 50 pads it's $28 which I think is worth it because um, like it might seem a little bit expensive but you don't have to use them every day only when you have ingrown hairs you only, you only need one pad if you guys struggle with ingrown hairs I've never used an ing anything from ingrown hairs until this I like super recommend this all right guys so we went through all 10 of my beauty favorites I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm going to put everything that I mentioned in the description box below if you're interested in getting any of this stuff it'll all be down there so check that out don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up thank you so much for watching subscribe to my channel honey if you haven't already it's not hard I have a lot of fun stuff coming up so I'm really excited for the things coming down the pike we're gonna be doing giveaways merch is coming soon so just stay tuned baby all right guys that's it for this video Video. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye guys. Marine Corn is out. There's not we I cannot talk today.